Okay, so today we're going to talk about trapezoids. And a trapezoid is a quadrilateral, which just means that it has four sides. So it's a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides, right here and right here. And these pair of parallel sides are called the bases. So this is base 1 and this is base 2. And exactly two pairs of consecutive angles that are supplementary. So 1 and 2 are supplementary. And 3 and 4 are supplementary but 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 are not supplementary. So like I said, the, the bases, the parallel sides are called the bases, and the non-parallel sides are called legs. So these two right here are legs. And in an isosceles trapezoid, these legs are congruent. But that's only in an isosceles trapezoid. So we have trape trapezoid A, B, C, D. Name the bases. So like we said, the bases are the parallel sides. So these two sides are parallel. So that means that C, D and A, B are the bases of this trapezoid. If the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees, what is the measure of angle C? Well, we said that these two, we said that there can only be two pairs of congruent, or, sorry, there can only be two pairs of supplementary angles. So for this particular triangle, these two and these two are supplementary. So to solve x, we get we set x plus 90 equals 180. If you subtract the 90 over, you get x equals 90. If d is 102, what's the measure of a? So y plus 102 equals 180. Subtract that over and you get 98. Sorry, you get 78. So if AD is equal to 5, CB has to equal, well, this is an isosceles trapezoid because the legs are congruent. So if the legs are congruent, that means they have equal length. So if AD equals 5, then CB also has to equal 5. If the measure... So if the measure of angle D equals the measure of angle C, and the measure... So that means that these two angles are congruent and the measure of angle A is 45 degrees, what's the measure of angle... what's the measure of angle C? So we know these two are congruent and these two angles have to be supplementary so we're gonna call this we're just gonna call this D so D plus 45 equals 180. So you subtract that 45 over, you get D equals 130. So that means C also equal 135 degrees. If the measure of ang the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle who equals 80. Well, we did we just did that right here. So the measure of angle D. DC is parallel to this line right underneath it, AB, because these two lines will never intersect. So 
So now we have true or false. So there exists a trapezoid with three congruent sides. Well, say we have this trapezoid, we're just going to call this trapezoid F. And it's an isosceles trapezoid, so these two sides are the same length. Well, all four sides couldn't be the same length because then it would be a square, not a trapezoid. But this side could l equal the length of, a, of the legs and it still be a trapezoid. So that is true. The bases of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Well, we just answered that. It's the legs that are congruent. So that is false. So that's all we have on trapezoids. But make sure you come watch the next lesson where we're going to talk about midpoints and the median of a trapezoid.